Bob Soka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 6, Section 1, Numbers 33 and 34. 33 reads, in Passage 1, Lincoln contends that breaking law has which consequence? Now, if you just remember the answer to the question, sure you can answer it for this type of question. Otherwise, don't go back and read the whole passage over again. Look to see if the next question is paired with this. Let's see if it's a best evidence question. Of course it is here. But sometimes it's on the next page. So turn to the next page if there's no line reference and see if you've got a best evidence question. And we do for 34. So let's go through the lines. Let's see first what seems to be answering question 33. We can eliminate from there. And then um, we can see what matches and answer for 33. Answer choice A. Let every man remember that to violate the law is to trample on the blood of his father and to tear the character of his own and his children's liberty. It sounds like he's talking about breaking the law. Here it says violate the law, a consequence or a result of violating the law. Looks like it is good. Look at answer choice B. Let the old and the young, the rich and the poor, the grave and the gay, all sexes and tongues, all colors and conditions, sacrifice unceasingly upon its altars. Now, great that this is a line reference question, but here we see the word it. What is it referring to? It's referring to the law. And Lincoln is just emphasizing how seriously we should take it, that we should follow the law, sacrifice unceasingly upon its altars. It's not talking about breaking the law per se. Looks like it's not going to be answer choice B for number 34. Answer choice C. If such arise, and here again we have such, and again it's a line reference question, but you'd want to read before to see what such is referring to. Um, if such arise, it's referring to grievances that was mentioned in the previous sentence. If grievances arise, let proper legal provisions be made for them with the least possible delay. But till then, let them, if not too tolerable, be born with. He's saying follow the law. If there's something wrong with it, we should change it. But follow the law until we change it. That's what answer choice C is saying. But it's not talking about breaking the law. A looks like it's still a correct answer. Answer choice D. There's no grievance that is fit object of redress by a mob law. Here he's saying um, what you should not do. He's basically saying never form a mob. Like, if you're upset about the law, don't form a mob. Don't form a mob to break the law. Don't form a mob to support the law. No forming mobs. D is gone. So it looks like the correct answer here is A. And now, what best matches A? Breaking the law slows the repeal of bad laws. Now, answer choice C is talking about how uh, fast a law could be changed. But breaking the law... It does not say anywhere that it's going to slow the repeal of bad laws. A is gone. Answer choice B. It undermines, which means uh, weakens and repudiates or rejects the nation's values. Now he says here, trample on the blood of his father and tear the character of his own and his children's liberty. So it sounds like liberty here is the nation's value. Um, and it would be... If you're tearing the character of your own and your children's liberty, sounds like you are undermining or repudiating the nation's values. It looks like B is a correct answer. But look at answer choice C. It leads slowly and in inexorably to rule by mob. Now notice answer choice C seems to match uh, here, seems to match answer choice D for number 34. They're both talking about a mob. But he is not saying breaking the law leads to a mob. He's just talking about grievances in general, like typically it's a grievance against the law or a grievance against another or something like that. Answer is D. It creates divisions in social groups. Breaking the law creates divisions in social groups. If that's correct, then what it would be talking about is um, if you're in a rich or a poor socioeconomic group, you fight more, you're divided more because uh, someone's breaking the law. And Lincoln doesn't say that anywhere. Either the correct answer here is B, coupled with A for number 34. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with these paired questions. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, 
Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.